Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's Shane here. Today I have a very special guest. This is one of the original students of the digital marketing program that I talk about on this channel. This, you know, it's gotten thousands and thousands of people uh, success over the years. Uh, this is one of the OG original students, Nick, and um, he actually is a coach for the program as well. So he's going to tell his story of originally being a student in the program and then being a successful digital marketer, rising up through the ranks as a digital marketer, and eventually also becoming a coach. So Nick, thank you so much for coming on the channel. Really appreciate it. My pleasure, my pleasure, my pleasure. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so let's go back all the way to the beginning. Uh, I always like to tell us like a story because you know it's, it's just funner to tell it that way. So take us back to the beginning. What were you doing before digital marketing and what did you feel like you were maybe missing something? And that's the reason why you wanted to get into digital marketing. Um, you know, what, what was going on in that situation? Before I got into digital marketing, uh, I was working at uh, Metro PCS for about two years. Um, I had just had took a break from college. Uh, I had got sick. I had got something called diverticulosis. And I kind of stopped, like my third year of college, I was going for psychology, I got to like drop out and get my health back into place. Then I got back into the workforce to do uh, retail. And I was doing Met Metro PCS and I enjoyed working with the people, but I always felt like I was like, I was so close to finishing college and doing psychology and having a career that something was off of uh, that. Like, this is not where I'm like meant to be. But I wasn't sure yet, and I didn't know if I wanted to go back to school. So what happened was uh, I went, it's a funny story, I went to a party, and then I came back from the party. Uh, this is like in 2017, and when I came back from the party, uh, I was like a little tipsy. And then I'm looking at YouTube, and I come across a YouTube channel uh engineer truth uh Matt Tran and normally I'm like close minded when it comes to things on the internet so I'm like normally I would say man like like do this and that with no college degree and like man I don't, like this is not this is a pyramid scheme like 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 that's how my head used to be but because I was open right and like I was a little tipsy I say you know what like I might as well just look into <laughs> it like like, it's, yeah. I felt like it was talking to me. Like, let me just look into it. Let me not be closed-minded. Let me see what could come from it. And I, I, before we go into everything, it was the best decision of my entire life. Like, okay. like just being open-minded to it. Uh, because from from that point, I said, let me just look at, look at it and see what, what's going on. Uh, I started to realize that, wow, like digital marketing is not like a, like some kind of scheme or something like that. It's an actual career. Like it's actually, so I didn't even know what digital marketing was at the time. Mm -hmm. So I really started to get passionate for it. Like just, I started looking at like testimonials before I like jumped in. I started looking at other videos to see like if digital marketing is a real thing. Like, what is it? Uh, and then I was like, you know, what? I want to give this a shot. I'm pretty good with computers. Uh, and that's in my mind, like I'm good with computers. I could do this. I could do that. I can fix phones. So this technology thing should be fine. Um, so, you know, I gave it a shot. Uh, and then we can awesome. go in deeper for uh, sure into the story, but for sure. I got started. Okay, so so you were kind of thinking about finishing college, and you were you were thinking about which career to go into. Um, the the job that you were originally in, did, did tell me more about that. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Um, you know what what was going on with that? I did like it, as far as like working with people. I like mm -hmm. working with people, but I didn't like the methods of it. Uh, like in working on those retail jobs. Um, you're underpaid. You give yourself. You you put in a lot of time, and then it's a, like little tactics that you have to use. That like it's not part of our personality. Like oh, sell sell this and add this on, but act that act like it's free and things of that nature. Uh, and I remember uh, I had been taking the course now from. Uh, I started in the end of 2017, 
and then in March, the five and taking the course little by little. And I remember my manager at Metro PCS uh, said, um, I had a month that like we didn't get as many sales. It wasn't even my fault. I had three months back to back to back where I was getting really good sales for Metro PCS. And then I had the manager tell me, oh man, you're having a bad month. What's going on? Uh, maybe you should take like a vacation and only get your mind right so you could come back and sell more of these units because it's kind of slow right now. Uh, and I'm like, okay, all right. So I see that I put in all this work. I put in all this time by nature, but as far as like the value and the time put in, it was not, it was not where it needed to be. And I know that that's not where I needed to be in life. Uh, I, however, I did gain a lot of people skills. I gained a lot of understanding of the mechanics of like, like interactions with people and how people think about products and things of that nature. I used that later on in the story of me becoming a digital marketer. So I did gain insight on it, but as far as like uh, the work that's being put in versus what's coming out of it, not good. Tell me about, um, I, I know you kind of said that um, you, you discovered De uh, Seth's course because you were basically a little tipsy one night you started watching YouTube. You ran across uh, Engineered Truth channel. Engineered Truth was uh, talking about Seth's course. And that's how you kind of discovered it. Did you actually just buy it right on the spot? No. So I didn't buy it right on the spot. Uh, I watched some testimonial videos. And then I started looking up what digital marketing is. Because like I was ignorant to what it was. I just thought it was like some kind of like, like those schemes where they like, like you get somebody and then yeah. you do it and then you get somebody else. I didn't even like, I just heard him mention it. I've seen it and I was like, all right, let me check what it is. And then when I seen it was a real thing and I seen the testimonials, I, my mindset started to change. Like, you know what? And I was looking for something to do. I didn't know if I wanted to go back to school or not. I understand why digital marketing is important because now I'm looking up what it is. I understand the need for it. I was like, man, this could be really something that I could I could look into. Like, and I see other people have a success with it. Let me just open my mind and see like where this could go. But I didn't get it right away. Maybe took like maybe like a week before I before I got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Hey, a week. That's that's still pretty quick. That's still pretty quick for sure. Um, yeah, I think Seth has uh, so many testimonials at this point. I think it would take you probably a couple months to watch all of them <laughs> that mm -hmm. i think a, a lot and of people actually started, it wasn't it wasn't that many yeah yeah a lot of people do that they're like they tell me yeah i watched every single one of his testimonials before i bought the course so it took them like a month to watch all of them <laughs> which i think is kind of funny but hey if, yeah if, if you you know if you need that inspiration that's good um okay cool so so you bought the the program and um did you really dive all the way into it at first or did it kind of take you a little bit to, to really start, you know, diving into it? I, I dived right in. Like okay. I, I, I was, this is my first time ever taking a course. Um, I started going, like I took the course differently. Like I didn't just start doing the things in the course. What I did was, I just watched the videos. I didn't take no notes. I didn't do make no actions. I just wanted to understand what was in the course. Like what is what is this? And what is what resources do I have to my uh disposal? Once I like just was just watching the videos and going through the course and just like mentally taking notes of like, all right, this is what this is about, and this is what the value that I'm gonna get out of this, I got extremely hyped. And I, I did it that first time. I didn't do anything. The second mm -hmm. time I uh, went through the course, then I started taking notes. And it's when I actually started taking action. So then I already did it once. I know what's in there. I did it a second time. I took notes. So now I'm already familiar with things. And then the third time I went through it, now I'm actually doing it with the course. That was just my method. But by the third time, I felt really, really comfortable and familiar with it and confident because I already had went through it two other times 
mm-hmm. uh, and reinforce that information. So it didn't feel like as intimidating as it could have been doing stuff that I never did before. That's awesome. I love that. Love that. And so how long, I think you, I think you told me it was maybe around 10 months or so before you were able to get a job after pursuing. Yeah. So about 10 months or so. No, that's awesome. Yeah. So I like left my, I left my job in March when they told me to like, Hey, you should take a vacation. I saved up all my money for my tax return. So I could like survive off that. And I mm-hmm. like did it eight hours a day. Like I treated, I didn't quit my job. And just say, oh, now I got free time. I'm going to watch some anime and play some video games or anything <laughs> like that. I'm going to go hang out with friends. No, mm-hmm. I said, all right, well, I was at my job for 10 hours a day. I'm going to work on this for 8 to 10 hours a day as if I was nice. working. So I did that. Uh, and then in like the summertime, that's when I got my first internship uh, for STO. Uh, uh, okay. for studio in the box and it was like a, uh online internship for seo mm-hmm. uh and the, is there going to be a plot twist because i'm not an seo specialist so uh i did the seo i was doing that and then i still wanted to kind of go into pay search which is the uh for those who don't know is the paid side of marketing with seo is the organic side of marketing so um i was kept looking for internships and that one was remote, that first one, believe it or not. Even back, even all the way back then, remote wasn't as easy to get as it is now. Uh, and I came, I went to Manhattan and I found the internship um at a job. And I went there and they was also hiring for SEO. And I'm gonna say the person's name because they was a bit of a definitely a mentor to me, and they gave me a shot. And it really uh JP, shout out to JP. Uh mm. I went there, uh he, we, we had a conversation. I told him what I was, what I was doing, uh, my skills. And he said, can you start right now? <laughs> so I went to a, I went to a, a interview for the internship and I got hired on the spot and then I didn't go home. <laughs> and my suit was high at the interview. He said, you want to start right now? I said, sure. No problem. So I stayed and I worked on that day and I worked there from maybe like July to November. Mm -hmm. Uh, He really took a shot on me, but I will say that like he was very impressed and all the other places that I was applying to, uh, even back in that time, the 2017, 2018 now, like, wow, like this is the first time that I've interviewed someone that actually knows so much about digital marketing. Mm -hmm. because like Seth's course doesn't just prepare you to uh, learn how to do digital marketing. It also prepares you how to get the job. Mm -hmm. So like most of the, a lot of those people who interview me was used to people like coming out of college with degrees and they don't, they never heard of like Google ads or SEO. It's just like traditional marketing or people just wasting their time, like applying for digital marketing and then, they find out that they really have IT skills because they didn't even know what did. They thought like, oh, I do, I could do like digital marketing and computer stuff and I work with mm-hmm. computers. So like the fact that I was so well-versed in it by just taking that course for a few months, they were like very impressed. Like, okay, like that's why JP was like, hey, like you want to start right now? Like I've been looking for somebody. I can't even find nobody that even knew what digital marketing was. Uh, and my guy just, my SEO guy just left. He has, has said uh, so like, like, let's do it. So I did that. Um, and then after I did that, that helped me build experience on my resume, uh, just working with actual clients while I was there, they actually got a client that did pay search or PPC. Uh, and they said, well, we don't know how to do this. We do SEO, we do copywriting. Uh, does anybody here know how to do this? Like, like <laughs> uh, JP was like, if we was in, we were sitting in the office in Manhattan. It was like a, a a room. It wasn't super big, and we were all sitting at a round table with our laptops. And he says, "We have an opportunity for some Google ads. Does anybody know how to do this? Because we don't want to say no." And I said, "Hey, you know, I know how to do it." And he's like, "The intern SEO guy knows how to do pay search. <laughs> you let, let him try to do it." And then, <laughs> uh, like, because we want to take, we want to get this. This is a big break. So they, I get the account, uh, and it was luck. Luckily, 
you know, like Pep's course has all the different aspects of marketing. So I took the time to learn both because I didn't know which one I was going to go with. I want, I like pay search a little bit more anyway, but I was going to just take what I could get. If I get SEO first and that's going to be my path. So I did really, really good on the pay search side of things. Uh, and I started getting a, a, a more clients at that internship. Um, and then I was doing the both SEO and pay search. And then that, that, uh, that information allowed me on well, my resume, allowed me to get my first like actual paid job at an agency in Manhattan on 34th street next to the, the big Macy's like at an agency job in the office. And I got that in November. I applied for that in November. I went back and forth, back and forth during uh like the interview, uh the interview phase. And I remember my recruiter said, you just got one more interview to do. You need to go meet the CEO of the company and you need to have an interview with him. And I'm not used to like at this time, I'm not super well business versed. I'm not used to like going into like, like the, like this corporate life or like going into like an office or anything like that. So it was new to me and I was all for it. Um, but it was like so, so serene because I get there. And uh, I get to that, and this is um, at uh, um, AI Media Group. Um, the CEO name is Sergio, uh, and he's sitting there, and he's got his uh, he's got his glass of like whiskey. And I never, <laughs> I never interviewed somebody while they drink a whiskey. And he's like, "Oh man, like, tell me about yourself." And then I started telling him about myself, and then he was like, "Yeah, you know, uh, my guys that interviewed you, they said they really like you. They said you uh." Uh, you explain things really well. Uh, and then let me ask you a few questions myself. So I'm asking, I'm, the pressure's on me. I'm like nervous. I'm like, but I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm still know that I could do this. I'm confident. And then at the end and I'm like sweating, he's like, oh man, I'm just messing with you. You already got the job yesterday. I just wanted to, I, I just wanted to introduce myself <laughs> and tell you that, uh, that welcome to the team. And I just wanted to, to, to like, play with you and make make sure that uh that you was like <laughs> definitely a good fit but you already got the job like it's it's, it's not a real interview like i just wanted to uh <laughs> and like i remember like and i remember when i walked in there like the, it was a big beautiful office like i felt like i was at google itself like i was like man like this is crazy i can't imagine working here because this is like some crazy thing I remember when I when he said that and said, "Yeah, you, uh, like you got the job. Just reach out to your recruiter, uh, talk to them, and then you sign some paperwork." I like remember going downstairs, like like everyone's like, "Welcome to the team," like holding in the tears, going downstairs and like boohoo crying, like I can't believe that I did this. I called my mom, like. Like and I, I started that job at fifty thousand dollars. So mm. for me to like start it in two thousand seventeen, making ten dollars an hour, overworked, wasn't sure if I was going back to college or not. To then like in seven eight months, make my first salary job for fifty thousand dollars was like crazy to me. Working in the 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 in Manhattan, like the the prime spot in Manhattan. Like mm. in this big high rise office wow. it was crazy. So that's amazing. That that part with the whiskey, the guy drinking the whiskey, that reminds me of the show Mad Men. <laughs> <laughs> they always like drinking whiskey in that show. Yeah. While they're yeah, working and crazy. stuff. That's that's yeah. crazy. Wow. That's a great story. It's an amazing story. All right. So you got that first job. Um what what were like what were your you know jobs after that like what what was kind of the progression because you, I think you're about six months in now right or six sorry six years in yeah, uh, to six, your career now se about seven years oh wow now, now yeah seven like, years. almost like seven years yeah uh six seven years something like that it's either six and a half or seven I can't remember wow but uh so I did that job. Now that's like I got that job in the end of, like November 2018. Uh I had a blast. I was I had a chance to actually go to Google um and like the actual headquarters um like two times. I built relationships and networks. Maybe uh two years in, like 2019 or so, 
or yeah, like two two thousand twenty. Um, I decided like you know what, like I love this job. It's my first job, but I want to continue to go. Like I feel like I'm getting maybe a little bit of diminished returns. Uh, I love I love everything about this job, but it's time for me to keep progressing into my career. Um, so I applied for a job, not knowing that it was a, a very very high end job. I just applied for it, uh, and then what happened was, I I said like, all right, well I'm gonna take my leave at this job now, um, because I was a junior SEM specialist there. And this job, I was looking to be not a junior. Uh, mm -hmm. There was a lot of some politics going on. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to another job. I then get the the job call that I did get the job at the job that I just applied for. Uh, I I wanted, I remember I wanted the my salary to be like, I asked for like 60K and now that 50K. Uh, and it ended up being 65 and then mm -hmm. I had, and it ended up being at horizon media. Mm -hmm. So horizon media is like top five biggest agencies in North America. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. So I was just <laughs> applying for it and I got the job during the pandemic. So I left oh, my, man. so I left and, oh, I was in, I forgot to mention this. I left my other job before I got that job. I said, <clears throat> I said, I want to put a lot of time into getting another job. And the only way I'm going to focus, hyper-focus on the job that I actually want to get is for me to put all my energy and time into finding a good job. And I can't do that mm. at the same time while I'm working at this job. So like at every step, I took a risk. Like mm. I, I didn't go back to school. And I quit my nine to five with no other job to do the course. I got a job. I stayed at my job for almost like about two years or so. And then I quit that job with not another job to take a risk to get another job. And I actually got the call that I got the job right when like a week after the pandemic started. And when I left the job that I did, half the half of the uh, digital marketing team or team in general got furloughed. Wow. So you see how you see how that works, like yeah, like like I didn't know that that was gonna happen. I just knew it was time for me to continue my journey into marketing, mm -hmm. and then I I would have stayed there. Like some good people that didn't have nothing to do with your skill level, they got furloughed. Mm -hmm. So while that was being furloughed on that side, I just started Horizon Media, which is like one of the biggest agencies that you can work at, uh, and. During that time, that's where I really, really, really got to like get my uh, experience in like doing reports, having really big accounts. Like I went from like having like forty different accounts, managing like one hundred and forty thousand dollars a month, to Horizon Media having only like four accounts, managing like one point five million a month. So it was a big jump and change, but. I think each job that I had molded me to where I need to be now. Of course, I could have just stayed at one job for like seven years, but each job gave me something that added on to my skill set. So after I was at Horizon Media, I stayed there for about another like year and a half, two years. Uh, and then another fellow uh, alumni uh, that works in SEO, um, uh, he was like, "Hey, I, you can get a job, um, with with me. Like, I got a really good job." So, I said, "You know what? I, I really like Horizon Media. I'm about to get promoted, but let me just check out this uh, this job. It's, um, the SEO person's name is Dre, um, and he's really, really known in the SEO space. One of another original uh mm -hmm. alumni. Um, so, uh, I went to that job." And this goes to show you that more money doesn't always mean that it's a better job hmm. because I jumped from 65 to 80 at this hmm. other job, but then I was doing all the different types of marketing, like pay search, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, everything. Hmm. Um, and I really didn't like the job. Like the people was cool. 
I did learn from the job. I won't name the name of the job because I'm saying I don't like it. Like I named the other ones because I have good relationships with all the jobs that I've been at. But I didn't really like this job. And this goes to show you that like it's nothing wrong with taking a step backwards to make put us make two steps forward. Because mm -hmm. at this time in my career, um I had like I haven't I just started coaching now for Seth because I was coaching for Seth now. Uh and I just 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 started and I said I really don't like this job. Um you know what? I stayed there for five months uh, and I got this offer to come into this job that was 70K. So it was 10K less mm -hmm. than the 80K. Um, but it like, it, it was like the energy was so good. Like literally, I remember telling the person that was going to hire me at, and this is at now uh, CTC, Common Thread Collective. And a uh, guy name is Tony. And I said, you know, Tony, I have like a few interviews. I even got one for like 90K that I'm like in talks with, an in-house position. And Tony said, okay, I'm going to tell you what, because we really value like what you bring into the table, the way that you present yourself, your knowledge. He said, it's not all about money. We can give you more than money. I love Tony. He said, <laughs> we have the most, we have the best culture in the industry. Now, before you say, like, that doesn't mean anything, I challenge you to join our online happy hour and come hang out with us before you even take the job or anything and just then make up your mind if you want to join us. I said, <laughs> okay. I said, I'll take you up on that. He said, you only got to stay for 15 minutes. I go to the, the online uh, uh, happy hour. Uh -huh. And when I get there, I only supposed to stay there for 15 minutes. I end up staying in the online happy hour for four hours, hanging out with them, talking to them. It was great. <clears throat> it was like so good. And then from there, I said, all right, I'm going to take the job. I didn't take the higher paying job. I took that job. And that was one of the best digital marketing career decisions of my life because wow. I learned so much at that job. I already was really good at digital marketing at this point in time. But that pushed it over the edge. That put me in my prime. Mm. That allowed me to learn uh, to master uh, client calls. That allowed me to master e-commerce. That allowed mm. me to, to master reporting. Like All these things that I knew how to do that I was pretty good at. I became a master and I will say that like that job is like the hard, it, it doesn't pay as high as the other jobs, but as, as far as knowledge, it's like the Harvard of digital marketing jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, and like, it was the knowledge that I got from it was way worth, way more worth than the pay. And then at mm -hmm. this time I also had my, I also had my side gig. So I have my own uh, coaching and mentorship and I help people that are uh, either one of that want to become entrepreneurs or they want to go deeper into their digital marketing journey. These are people after sex course that already have a job, already been in the career. Uh, and then I also coach with Seth. So like with my, everything I was doing uh, in my entrepreneurial journey, plus that I was still making good money. I was still making um, at one point, like, as I was going through it, I hit now I'm, I'm at six figures now. Mm -hmm. But like with that job and my, and my mentorship, I'm at six figures. So instead of like going for like this super high corporate job, I, I could at this point in time, I could get a job for like 170 if I wanted to 150 because of my skill set. Mm -hmm. But I got a job that gave me a peace of mind that I really, really loved. That I really, really enjoyed. At the same time, I still did my and still gave me time to do my entrepreneurial stuff as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was able to learn instead of just going for like the highest money I can get and then hate the job. And then where I'm at now is after I left that job, I'm at a job that uh, I'm at this current job right now. I can't tell you how much it is, but it's about twenty five to thirty thousand dollars more. Mm -hmm. uh, and that job. I do e-commerce, lead gen, 
Um, I helped train the, the our team in uh, Romania. I had like my own like uh, team, kind of like a supervisor. Uh, I have really, really, really big accounts now. Mm -hmm. um, very well respected there. And I love this job just as much as I love the last job uh, because I love the last job. The only reason why I left is because the pay was a little bit low, but I was learning a lot. But now like I'm in my prime, I know all, everything I need to do. And this job culture and the way that they treat me is just as good as the mm -hmm. last job, but only they pay like what I'm worth. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, that's my that's whole, awesome. like, job journey. That's amazing. That's amazing. Long, <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I, I just want to say really quickly, uh, if anyone's confused about this terminology we're using, pay-per-click, you know, PPC, SEO, uh, e-com, all this kind of stuff, um, there is going to be a free training, which I'll put down in the description in the pinned comment below, uh, where Seth is actually going to explain what all these things are. He's going to explain digital marketing, the different types of career paths you can go into, uh, whether or not it's a good fit for you. Um, and pretty much tell you how you can get into it as well. Um, and that's going to be down in the description in the pinned comment below. So it's a free masterclass. Definitely check that out if you're confused about any of that stuff. Okay, so that is an amazing story uh, all the way up to this point. And um, one thing I want to ask you is, what would you, um, would you say that there are certain personality types that do better in digital marketing? Or would you say that there's kind of a, a good fit for everyone, depending on their personality. And by personality, I mean, introvert, extrovert, um, artistic, analytical, you know, that kind of thing. Is there is there a job in digital marketing for everyone? Or is there some types of personalities that do better? I think that because this digital marketing is such a wide net, and there's so many different things that you could do, that there's literally a, a personality type that could fit each different job. Uh, because like you could be somebody that uh is like, all right, I'm really, really into the numbers. I'm really into looking at spreadsheets. Like you could go into just more on the the, the data analysis side, uh uh and the reporting side and the, the analytics side of things. You could be somebody that I want to be on the ground level, I want to be talking to the clients, I want to be providing that value. You could start off in like being doing the digital marketing yourself and then go into client services and then be like a digital marketer, but at the same time, managing the client relationship between the uh, the, the specialist and the, uh, the, the job itself. Um, there's so many, like digital marketing is such a wide net of things. I will say that there are some soft skills that will make it easier to transition into digital marketing um, and like some of those soft skills would be, um, making sure that you, you have your, like your, like your mindset of time and task management, uh, is on point because it's easy in this type of field, especially like working from home to like burn out if you don't understand how to manage your time and your tasks and how you feel about it. Because mm -hmm. if you're not organized, you're going to feel unorganized and you're going to feel like all this stuff is coming at you at once, no matter what your personality type is. Mm -hmm. And to be able to mitigate that so you don't burn out is to make sure that your, you know, your calendar is set up where it needs to be. Uh, you have a good idea where all your tasks are and what you have to do for the day. Your communication skills is really, really good because this is going to help mitigate that because like... I can have a whole bunch of work and person A can have a bunch of work. Person B can have a bunch of work. Person A is looking at it like, like, oh my God, like I got to do all this stuff. And then like, I'm getting stuff as I'm trying to do the stuff that I'm doing. Person B is looking at it like, okay, this is what I'm going to be able to do now. I know what days that I need to do these things. So like, I'm not bothered by it. Like it's no, it's not a, it's not a problem to push back on certain things. One of my managers told me when he wakes up on Monday to start working and he looks at his calendar to do his stuff, everything else, like if you don't, if you don't like to talk to people, if you like to talk to people, if you want to be in the numbers, if you want to be in the field, if you want to build the campaigns, if you want to manage people, all the different type of personality traits, there's a job for it. Hmm. Uh, and awesome. I will say that like, I work with like 
a wide range of personality types. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, I also like the fact that like, not only is the personality types not an issue because you can always find something that you want to do, but um, per, it doesn't matter personality. It doesn't matter ethnicity. It doesn't matter about uh, age. I work with people that are in their 60s and 70s. I work with people that are in their teens, like 19, 20. Mm-hmm. I've had a manager that was 10 years younger than me. I've had a coworker that's 20 years older than me. So it does like the culture, it, it, like, oh, can you provide value? Can you do it? Can you do the job that you do? And can you do it really well? And mm-hmm. can you do it as a team? Yeah. Outside of that, everything else, like your personality, what you stand by, everything else would be supported. And that's what I think makes digital marketing culture so special is because you work with so many different type of people, especially being remote too. Uh, like you, and you mm-hmm. learn a lot from a lot of different people. Um, and it kind of just makes you grow as a person, as you work with different personality traits, as you work with different people in other States that you would have never worked with before in other countries that you mm-hmm. would have never worked with before. I've learned a lot by just networking and talking to my coworkers and seeing their point of view that you kind of, but you kind of encompass all of those things. Like mm-hmm. I have a, my certain personality trait. But over time, my personality kind of changes depending on the situation because I've learned how to adapt to each situation, seeing my coworkers do it. Yeah. So that is also awesome. good as well. Like I feel like you grow as a person because you work with so many people around the world. And I think that's another pro to working remote. Yeah, I, I personally don't think that uh, personality is as fixed as a lot of people think it is. I, th- I think yeah. that you, you can change over time for sure. Personally, mm-hmm. it's it's a lot of work, but you can do it definitely. Um, okay, so next thing I want to ask is, let's say somebody's watching this and they're kind of on the fence. They're not sure if they should jump in. Uh, they're in the same situation you were in because I know you you know watch videos for a week before you decide to jump in. What would you say to that person? I would say to that person, uh, what is understand what your why is like you know what you want to do like put in your head what do i want to do and why do i want to do it how do i want to achieve that and i will tell you that if whatever your why is and your what is my why was that i wanted to make sure that i took care of my family my parents and i want to have financial income to enough to be able to do that also wanted to be Uh, prideful in what I do, like have a career and be happy and say, hey, I am this person, like this is is part of my identity. And I want to be able to be the man that I need to be for my now fiance uh, without having to go back to school. That was my why. That's what drove me. And whatever gave me that that energy to get to my why, that's what I was going to do. And digital marketing, it works. It's mm. not a it's not a pyramid scheme like I thought in the beginning and before I even watched any of the videos. Mm. It's not something that like you can't do because like I'm not smart enough to do because it, it, both things go around. I coach hundreds and thousands of people with Seth in the last uh, few years. So I know what goes through your head. Like I can't do this. I'm not good with computers. Uh, um, This is like like. I never went to school for this or I don't have a college degree. So like, if I don't go to school for marketing, I'm not going to be able to do this. None of that stuff matters. I had no experience at all. I didn't know how to build a website. I didn't know what marketing was. I didn't know any of that stuff. Take a leap of faith, but not because you believe in digital marketing because you believe in the course because you believe in yourself. Whenever you are investing into like material, the digital marketing, the course, me as a coach, Seth as a teacher, all of it is just resources. But when you're investing into that stuff, you're investing, you're not investing into us or any of that. You're investing into yourself. And that's what I did. I got that stuff and I took it and I invested into me and made myself, my skills more valuable. Um, I literally watch people that are 15 year old, 15 years old, get jobs in digital marketing. I yeah. literally watch people 
that are in their sixties get jobs in digital marketing. So you yeah. can do it. Like look at it, keep an open mind. And I promise you it has changed my life. Like the investment mm -hmm. that I invested into the course at the time, the course was hundred dollars a month. I stayed in the course for seven months. I spent $700 and now I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars. So the return on investment is crazy. The things that it allowed me to do, mm -hmm. I'm able to travel now. And this is not to brag or anything like that. This is like someone that had that worked at Metro PCS that was sick, that dropped out of college because they were sick, that didn't grow up with any money or anything at all, that lived in New York, Queens, um, was able to make hundreds of thousands of dollars just because I took that time to believe in myself that I can do something and get this information for myself. Like, just keep an open mind. And I promise you that, like, things will happen so quick that you wouldn't even know. Like, you'll still be, I still remember the first day when I took the course, and it's seven years now. You know, I'm able to travel. I'm able to take care of my family. I'm able to take care of my fiance. I'm able to mm -hmm. do the things that I really wanted to do. I'm able to inspire others and help them do the same thing. I'm able to watch other people grow. I'm 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 able to be a beacon for people in my community or grew up with me or know me or was in the same situation me as me. Like, get the courage to be able to know that they like like they have it's more to their story than just where they're at today. So, awesome. you know, go for it. You know, I promise you that it's changed my life and I watch it change other people's lives every single day. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. And there, there's a reason that Seth has like prob, pro, hundreds and hundreds of testimonials, like literally not just like testimonials where someone says, oh, I literally liked it or anything, but like full length interviews hundreds and hundreds of them <laughs> like there is just so much proof that it works and again guys uh links in the description uh there's free training in there also you can you know just uh have the information for the course as well um nick thank you so much for coming on i think you inspired a ton of people with this one um to see where they can go down the line uh you know because you're like six six years in and you said if you wanted to, you could have, you could have like 150, 180 K a year job right now. Um, but you're very happy with your job and that that's definitely very important, right? Like happiness and, you know, having maybe a little bit of more work-life balance and stuff like that is, is really important. And you're, and you're still making really good money and, and crushing it. Plus you're doing your entrepreneur stuff. You're uh, on the side. So it's amazing as well. So uh, again, Nick, thank you so much for uh, coming on and uh, really appreciate it. It was my pleasure. Thank you, Shane.